What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel After Sound here bringing you Splinterlands content every single day. We also stream right here on this channel every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday morning. So come by and say hello. All right, well we are less than 24 hours away, at least at the time of this recording, of getting the new daily focuses. These are going to include many different abilities and we got the breakdown here. There are quite a few. Uh, let me just say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven uh, times two is 14 ability-based focuses and then we still will have the splinter based focuses as well so we've had those it's been splinter spam for a while but I want to focus right now on the 14 new ones that we have because it's not just one ability uh, it is a collection of abilities that are based around a specific theme so let's just start right from the top left and make our way through so anti magic if you have an anti magic quest then anytime you use void phase or void armor uh, you will get the bonus on your monsters. I love that. Now you also have Reflect, which is not just Magic Reflect, but it is Backfire, Return Fire, or Magic Reflect to turn their strengths against them. You got Stealth here, uh, which is Sneak, Snipe, and Opportunity to take away <laughs> to take your enemy by surprise. I think this is the only one that we knew of because they gave it a uh, they they gave a little preview of it. We also have Anti Melee, so this is if you use Thorns or Retaliate, uh, which I think are going be great buffs so let's see here basic tenets caught uh if you use swiftness inspire protect or strengthen on your own team you also have defend which is going to use shield or repair flying which is going to be oh actually just just flying i suppose so that's that's kind of nice in a way it's almost like uh if you use Bright and Bloom, it's a it's an automatic win. I mean, you have to win, but it's an <laughs> automatic uh, bonus on every one of your monsters. Ooh, maybe I'm gonna go pick up a Bright and Bloom right now. Hello, actually, that's gonna be a great for renting. Uh, I know it's 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 only a one day focus, and you gotta rent for two days. But still, I don't have a Bright and Bloom, but I really I really like that one because all of a sudden, every time you play Dragon, uh, and it doesn't matter because Dragon is the best one, so it doesn't really matter what other Splinters you play, you'll be able to give all of your monsters flying and essentially get some crazy bonuses. Okay, we have a Disable now. So this is. This is, let's see, uh, piercing or stun whenever uh, whenever you play with a monster. You have exploits, which, you, which uses oppress, giant killer, death blow, or knockout. That's interesting. I, we usually pair stun with knockout, so I'm a little surprised to see them. Uh, I'm a little surprised to see them separated from one another. But you know what? They they're both they're both valuable in their own sense. Uh, although you can't use, I don't think you can use knockout without stun, so <laughs> there's something there. All right, fatalities, bloodlust, life leech, redemption, or scavenger. Oh, man, I'm going to love this one. I'm going to throw in uh, throw in Dr. Blight into every one of those matches, you can bet. And then I get the 5% bonus on the Dr. Blight promo. Here we go. All right, healing. So if you use tank heal, uh, heal, which is just like a self-heal, cleanse, or triage, you have ailments, so if you use poison, affliction, or weaken, I'm thinking immediately of Waka or Kitty uh, for the last two, right? Because, well, I, I guess it's not really, it's a bonus just for Kitty. It's not really for the entire summoner. But Waka gives all of your monsters poison. Oh, you know what's going to be interesting, actually? I think, I think I'm, I'm mistaking this because if you give all your monsters that ability, it's not that the cards have those ability, your summoner's giving it. So maybe, let me, let me roll that back because I, I think I'm getting a little too excited about that here. <laughs> all right, so impair. Some opponents will attempt to overwhelm you with damage. Use demoralize, silence, headwinds, or blind. Very cool. And then nullify. So let's see. You can use shatter, cripple, or dispel. I don't really care for that one. Although I, I should I should be trying to use shatter a lot more these days. So 14 new uh, ability-based focuses. Guys, I, I love this because now you, you'll have no idea what the other person is playing. This this essentially takes up 75% or almost 75% of, uh, or 70%, I, I guess I could calculate. It This is 70% of all possible daily focuses. So they didn't just come in and put in a couple. Like they came in and they put in a ton. And now the remaining six, right, the remaining 30% are what we had on the older splinter spam, which again, isn't that bad because keep in mind the new, in case you missed the, the news, you still get, uh, rewards or reward shares, I should say, towards your daily focus, even if you don't use any cards. 
it is you get a bonus whenever you use these cards. And I think it's easy enough. Again, you don't have to do it every game because it's not all or nothing. So you don't have to do it every game. But there will be many games in which I do want to play or, or will find a use for any and all of these different types of, uh, of abilities. And most of the time, too, I will say is that, like, I'm not even thinking about it. I may, I may not even be thinking about it, and it just might happen, right? Because especially as you get up to gold and above, I feel like the there are just abilities everywhere, and sometimes I'll play something and I'll forget that it has like a specific ability. You know what I mean? Like it's it it gets that, that complicated at the higher level. So I'm I'm very excited about this. Let me just go ahead and check one thing real quick on Discord, because um, this is where they shared everything. So it doesn't seem like there's any major changes to the fire focus or to any of these focuses now the one thing that they mentioned in a previous town hall is that the dragon focus you get this kind of bonus there because you do get to use any splinter with this so let's say for example you are using an earth focus or you have an earth focus you can technically play dragon with earth and for every earth card you use you are going to get that bonus but again you know, that's just, that's just what it is with, with dragon focus. I mean, there's only a couple of dragons. I mean, I actually, there's, there's quite a few dragons. I was going to say there's only a couple of dragon cards in, uh, chaos legion, but there's also the chaos legion rewards. So there'll be opportunities for you to use that there, but guys, I'm really, I'm really, really liking this. I'm very excited about it. I'm a little sad that I'm going to be traveling so much over the next couple of days, but don't 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 worry. I will be playing and I will give a report on how this is. Let me know, though, your thoughts on these uh, different ability based daily focuses. Uh, is there one that you like? Is there one that you are worried about? Because from looking at this, like I said, the first one was shatter, cripple. Uh, sorry, the last one, I should say shatter, cripple and dispel. As soon as I saw that, I was just like. I know that I play monsters with these, but I never focus on like, oh, uh, yeah, I'm going to need like this dude. <laughs> it's, it's never it's never a let me put it this way. It's never a specific strategy. You know what I'm saying? Um, poison, affliction and weaken. Those are pretty easy because I love using Uraeus. Uh, Demoralize. I love using on several different monsters. I mean, most of these have a nice most of these have a nice kind of mix to them. Shield and repair will be an interesting one. That's that's probably going to be. It's probably going to be a lot of life for that, <laughs> uh, but everything else, I, everything else, I really like. Giant killer, death blow, or knockout. I think this one's going to be tough uh, exploits, just because you really have to plan those out. I don't. I mean, there are some games that I do plan on on giant killer, uh, piercing and stun though. This is another one that I don't technically use quite a bit, uh, or at least I don't plan around. So stun and piercing are, are ones that I'll have to focus on, and maybe I get more into death with that new, uh, I forgot what the name of it is, but the, the death epic rewards card, which uh, comes with stun at level one. So again, keep in mind that all of these uh, focuses may not be available at the lowest level or, or lower levels, I should say. And the reason that they said this is because if there's not enough cards that have these abilities yet, it may not make sense. Now, we don't know what that breakdown will be, but if you are like going through and after two weeks or however long you realize you haven't seen any of these, that's exactly why. Um, so just something to keep in mind. All right, guys, that is all I have in this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below if there's one you are excited about. But I think that this is going to alleviate so much, so much uh, within the game and make it way better of a playing experience for yourself and I'm sure for others. You won't be able to predict them as much anymore unless they're a bot who's just magic spamming. But on the whole, I think we should be good. All right, guys, have an amazing rest of your day. I will catch you all in the next video and I will see you around the game. Take care.